All right, guys, so let's talk seat height, length, width, all those things. Um, so here we are, standard bike, uh, seat height, you're looking yeah, below the 900, so around 820 seat height there. You can get a lower shock, you can soften the shock, you can do things like that. Uh, handlebar height here. Uh, we just get asked often what's the highest point, so you're probably talking, let's go off probably the mirror here. Um, you're talking around sort of 1100 to there. So um, people ask this just for their storage and um, that type of thing. I'll give you a general like overall length here. You can go to support.bright motorcycles and get the specific specs, but this is just a video. Most people like to watch these general ones. So you're kind of looking at 2150 long. Um, so uh, yeah, that's, uh, we deliver the bikes um, rolling, so we don't do a box size. So they come like this. Um, bar width, uh, you're looking 700. Um, and then width here as well across the top of the seat. You're looking around 240 across the top and the width of the pegs, you're kind of looking around 450, 500. So hope that helps. Um, really a great bike, no matter your height, no matter your size, we've tried to make it quite a relaxed riding position. Um, so shorter people can ride them comfortably and then for the taller riders as well, um, you'll fit on quite easily. Plenty of room between the foot peg and the handlebar, which is really the bit that limits taller riders. So it's a relaxed sport bike. Um, ergonomics, which means that it's not super aggressive on your wrists. You can see we've got clip-on bars, but they're, they're risen here by about an inch. Um, that just makes it a bit more comfortable for commuting. So um, yeah, we've had lots of great feedback on the positioning of the bike, how relaxed and comfortable it is for a sport bike um, from people who've been test riding. So anyway, that's the Bright Moto E measurements.